Welcome back to this week's episode of Volley Chat Ask a Pro. Today's question is dealing with mental state and how we can help and get help from our partners. Before we get going, if you're interested in asking your own question to be featured on our YouTube channel, make sure you go and follow the link below to Facebook where you can join our Volley Chat Facebook group. We pull these questions straight from that group every single week and now we're starting to respond to you on YouTube. And before we get going, please subscribe to our channel. It helps us more than you know. And also give us a like and share it with your friends if you found this information valuable. Today's question comes from Kumi and it has to deal with mentality while playing the game. I think we've all been in a situation where either we or our partners have messed up a few times and one of us needs a pick me up or, it, or we need to feel like our partner can trust us again. We spoke to Casey Patterson on a webinar where he had a phenomenal answer on what he does personally to get himself back into the game how he treats his partner when his partner's struggling, and it was eye-opening for me. So let's throw it over to Casey Patterson for his answer. What works with some partners has, is like maybe the worst way to approach a, a, another partner. So for me, it's always like, first of all, being positive is like the main focus of mine. Yes, America! Like, I think being a setter in college and in high school, you just blame yourself and move along and you want to like, Maintain everybody's attitude. I'm always checking to make sure everybody feels good. Hey, how's my outside hitter? How's my O2? How's my O1? Like, what are they doing? Are they are they communicating? What is their eye contact? What's their body language like? Like all those things, I'm constantly like monitoring. Like, okay, how can I, okay, he needs, I need to set him the X2 and let him bounce the ball and he'll be fine for me the rest of the time. You know what I mean? Like okay. you had to kind of manage a lot of different types of humans. And so yeah. I think with each partnership you transfer into, number one for me, it's always been like, okay, how do I be positive and bring energy? I have to bring that no matter what. No matter who the partner is, that will always work because that's a, a positive, like infectious trait that no matter how you play, like you enjoy having fun versus getting yelled at. Oh, I did it! I did it, Neil! Then two, I feel like each team has its own identity. With you and Hudson, it was dry, it was, it was like all heart, you guys were grovelly, you were nasty, you never gave up, like, and Hudson was ready to fight at any time if you needed him to, and so you guys were like, no, like, you, that seriously was, you guys were just out there being warriors, and that was awesome, and that worked for you guys, and you guys did well. And then you get to a guy that might be a little bit more sensitive because he hasn't been coached that style, you know what I mean? Like, the, the next guy's a little bit different. I think finding what your identity as a team is and talking about it, like having a meeting, like with Troy and I, we had a meeting, okay, what's our identity? Okay, we need to side out at a really high clip and we need to be super grovelly. We need to like never give up and outwork every team we play. Like that's who Don't we have. I think to that would be the identity for every for every team. Like we're gonna outwork, we're gonna hustle at all times. Right. Do you think right. there's any team that says, nah? No, <laughs> no, right, I, I agree. I think that has to be like everyone's like your cornerstone and then you build around that. I feel like that should be your cornerstone. Then it's like the more you start to practice and start to feel out what works for you, you're going to add pieces of that. Okay, I'm going to add this cornerstone now. Now, hey, let's be great at running the four, the four defense and make sure that we're, our timing is perfect every time. Like That's what we're going to do. And no matter what, we can count on that being something that's a staple for us to score. I think with each partnership, that should be a goal and that should be a team talk. Like, hey, who are we? Okay, now how do I approach this? When you're not playing well, like for me, if I make a few errors in a row and it's like a high pressure situation, the last thing I need is my partner to give me this tone. Like, let's go, dude, come on. Like the last thing I need is my guy giving me like a somewhat of a like edgy negative tone as if I don't know that I'm playing bad. And we all, I think we all would agree, right? Like, yeah. listen, bro, like we're all our worst crit critic, right? We're, like, yeah. we're all like, dude, even when you side out, but they touch it, you're like, oh, I, I gotta be better, right? Oh, okay, now you want me to come on? All right, I, I didn't yeah. realize that you wanted to be there. Like, oh, I wasn't okay. trying before. I'll put it on this point. <laughs> I, well, I thought you wanted me to give up our four point lead first and then side out. Okay, my bad. Right. Exactly. <laughs> so I think for me personally, a tactic that I've started to learn about myself, and I think that's a big part of how you work with the team and how you can uh, be a better partner for your partners is understanding yourself even better. Like for me, let's say that happens. Well, the last thing I want is that tone that aggression and then the guy, you know, kind of being like, well, dude, it's not my fault. Like, I'll never do that to my partner and be like, 
dude, let's go, just side out. I'm like, hey, do we need to run a quick set? Do we need to go back? Do I need to set you off in it? Do you need to pass off and kind of act like we're out of system? And then they pull and I throw you in system with the set. Like, what do we need to do to get you comfortable? So I've got those keywords that I can help my partner. Oh. Go again, go again, go, 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 go. Oh. I love you. Wow, the first time I said it, guys, in front of everybody. Oh, I love you, brother. Then I, let's say it's my partner that's playing that. I want to take all the attention off of them. So I'm going to wipe my shades. I'm going to joke with somebody in the crowd. I'm going to talk to the ref. I'm going to talk to the guys across the net. But in a way where Dude. I'm going to take that attention where you feel like you want to hide under a rock because you haven't sighted out a few times and now it's match point and you had a four point lead. Now everyone's looking at me and like, well, what's Casey doing? And everyone forgets about Mark and Mark can start to get back to where he's comfortable and he's relaxed and he's ready to fight out. And then I'm going to say, hey, dude, whatever you do, I might just go on too. Don't worry. Like, we'll take care of it. Mm -hmm. Hey, let me know what you want to set. If this happens, we'll go here. If this not there, like, I think that like universe, you need to be great at filling that universe with communication and, and understanding how your partner reacts to those situations. So for me, that's that's always my focus is how does my like, how does my galaxy, where is it revolving? How is it spinning? Where are we at each point? Thanks Casey for that answer. Once again, still blows my mind. If you are interested in being a part of these webinars where we learn from pros, where we learn from Mark Burek or myself, then make sure you follow the link below to our continued learning library. This is something that if you are a member, you are going to get access to webinars monthly that are going to bring you little gold nuggets just like this whenever we have them. Also, if you're interested in finding out some new drills, make sure you download our free drill book that is guaranteed to get you better.